Determine if the following infinite series is convergent or divergent. So we have a series uh, starting at n equals 2 and going to infinity of 1 over ln of n raised to the ln of ln of n power. So we should really put uh, expo or uh, parentheses around here, the ln. The hint they gave us is that natural log of x is less than the square root of x. Okay, so this is going to be slightly um, uncomfortable because we have to use the idea that e to the ln of x is equal to x. And the idea here is that, well, you're composing two functions that are inverses of each other, so you're just going to get x. Okay, so if I only look at ln of n raised to the ln of ln of n, basically I'm looking at the denominator here, I'm going to use this e to the ln of x idea. So it's going to be e to the ln of now everything to the left here. So ln of n and then raise it to the ln of ln of n. Okay. Okay, so this is identical. I'm just rewriting it in this form. And now this exponent will come out in front here. Okay, because the idea is, well, if I have ln of x to the n, that's just n ln of x. Okay, so this will just be e to the ln of ln of n. Okay, so this, this part. Multiply that by this thing, ln of ln of n. So notice that these two are identical. Okay, so that's just going to be e to the ln of ln of n whole thing squared. So again, I, I have to stress that we're just rewriting it now. We're not changing the value. We're just rewriting it in a nice way. Okay. Now, the next thing is we have to take advantage of this hint. Okay, so we know that ln of x is less than square root of x. Okay, so let's write that down. If I let x equal ln of n, that means I have ln of ln of n is less than the square root of ln of x. Oh, sorry, ln of n. Okay. So now I'm going to go back here. So. Uh, Let's go back to the original problem. We found that this ln of n to the ln of ln of n can be rewritten as this. Okay. So we're going to take this here and we're going to plug it in for the denominator. Because what we said is they're exactly the same, just a different form. Okay, let's do that. We'll have 1 over e to the ln of ln of n whole thing squared. And we know that this will be greater than 1 over e to the ln of n which is equal to 1 over n. Okay, here's why. This right here, ln of ln of n, is smaller than square root of ln of n. Okay, so um, we could just write it like this. Now if I square this, I should square this as well. The square root and the square are going to cancel. And I'm going to be left with 1 over e to the ln of n. 
which is just 1 over n. Now, the sum from n equals 2 to infinity of 1 over n diverges. Okay, this is basically the harmonic series starting at n equals 2. And anything bigger than this series will also diverge. Okay. So we found that the original sum is bigger than 1 over n. That means that our original uh, sum should also diverge. Okay, so this implies that this will also diverge by the comparison test, which is equal to what we started with. And that was 1 over ln of n raised to the ln of ln of n power. So this diverges by comparison test. And that completes the problem.